Ukraine says its troops are regaining more ground on eastern and southern front lines. Kyiv's counteroffensive has met strong resistance from Russian forces, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky describing last week as difficult. Russia says its forces are continuing to repel Ukrainian attacks. Our correspondent Stephanie Fried is in the Donetsk region in Ukraine. Good to see you, Stephanie. Now, intense fighting is continuing in eastern and southern Ukraine. Tell us more. That's right. Um, and, and, you know, the message that we're getting or that we're seeing as well as what you've just said, talked about is that the uh, National Secretary or the Secretary of National Security and Defense tweeting that fruitful gains have been made on the part of Ukraine's army over the past week and that the number one objectives or aims are being realized, those being the tasks being destroying Russian weapons, destroying uh, fuel depots, uh, destroying destroying command posts. None of that has been independently verified. Uh, but, but we are getting information that very fierce fighting around the eastern area of Bakhmut. And the deputy defense minister is saying that over the past days in Ukraine's counteroffensive over the past week, around a few dozen square kilometers of territory has been retaken from Russia uh, by Ukrainian forces. Of course, a lot of this we understand is, is trench warfare. Uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, infantry units that are fighting, as well as this uh, acts of trying to destroy supply lines and command posts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Here in this region, uh, we met up with artillery personnel and what they're doing more. They're not advancing so much as they're holding their lines. And at the same time, they're having to be mindful of the amount of artillery, of the ammunition that they're using. Let's take a look. The Hyacinth 152mm cannon and Grad multi-rocket launcher are both Soviet-made. Ukraine's army uses them to fire on Russian positions 10 kilometers away. This Grad launcher is capable of firing 40 rockets in 20 seconds. Conservation is key. Right now, they're only firing two. Ukraine's president and military chief are openly calling for fighter jets and more artillery. There's a lack of ammunition. For now, most of the ammunition goes to the advancing brigades, more in the Zaporizhia direction. We are holding the line here. The Ukraine Army's Donetsk artillery front line is located in open fields punctuated by tree lines, camouflaged beneath the foliage, soldiers, trenches and weapons, some mobile, others stationary. The mobile grad launcher moves out, fires and rapidly returns to the grove. Time is of the essence. Once a unit like this has fired, it's got to get back under cover as quickly as possible because now it's a target. Ukraine's commanders say Russia's use of superior weapons like the 120 kilometer range 300 millimeter smirch gives Russia's army the advantage. Nonetheless, Russia is reportedly targeting the howitzer because, according to U.S. Secretary of Defense Austin, it is absolutely lethal. Yesterday, seven Grad rockets and three 152 howitzers were fired on us. Flat terrain, ammunition shortages and holding static positions render artillery units vulnerable, but not incapable. And what I would say that what was very interesting to us in, um, in meeting with this artillery, these artillery units, is that generally in the past they've been very cavalier when we see them in the bunkers and in these units, very cavalier about victory and certain victory. And they were very candid about the fact that they do feel on some levels Russia has the advantage. Of course, they're, uh, they are uh, looking for more weapons and they're asking for more weapons publicly. But that honesty was uh, a different angle. It was, uh, it was a fresh perspective, let's say. The extraordinary access that you've had. Um, Stephanie Freed, um, thank you very much.